Sleepovers with the boys are sacred moments to see how many boundaries you can get away with pushing. Even if it means overextending a bit, it's what makes it fun. This night, Roman Cole and I planned to push the two ironclad rules amongst the Roman household. Rule one, no weed. His parents didn't even know he smoked at this time. And two, no friends over on this particular weekend. We were to not only sneak the weed into his house, but also ourselves. Roman had just got a brand brand new PlayStation VR headset and we wanted to experience the virtual reality while high, which posed for the riskiest activity of all. You see, this was his family PlayStation, meaning it was right in the middle of the living room, so we had to move at night when the family sleeps. Me and Cole stake outside for dusk to fall and Roman to give us the word. We had the weed in an airtight seal, a small pipe to smoke it, and some Febreze bottles to kill the smell. Eventually, we see the front door open. Roman gave us the signal and we slowly enter his house to not make a sound. We all make our way upstairs, walking past his parents' bedroom to get to our safe haven, Roman's bedroom. Objective one was complete. Now we had to complete objective two, smoke the gas. So how are we gonna do this, man? I've got a spot. He opens his window and walks onto the roof. The three of us get to smoke under the stars as the calm before the storm. A moment of solitude before things take off. Once we're nice and high, we stumble back down to the window, probably almost die, and get back inside. The night was looking good. If we could complete our final objective to play VR, we could call this mission a success. We make our way downstairs and turn on the PlayStation, ready to experience this new world. We didn't want the smell of weed to linger on us, so we spray the Febreze bottle around the living room. But something all wise men know is not to give three high kids a bottle of Febreze. Since it's his house, naturally, Roman gets first dibs on VR. But as soon as he puts this headset on, we start spraying him all around with the Febreze and watch him helplessly squirm. Before we know it, we had sprayed the entire bottle of Febreze and this room was so smelly, it was completely unlivable. And this headset had speakers built into it too, which is important because Roman didn't realize how loud he was being. <laughs> he was screaming. We hear a door slam and footsteps coming downstairs. Cole and I had to think fast before whoever was coming downstairs came down and saw us. So me and him run into the closet. Roman has no idea we left him behind because he can't see and can hardly hear. So if we tried to communicate to him, we would have just blown our covers. His mom comes downstairs like, what the fuck is all this noise and what's this smell? Roman takes off the headset to see us gone and he knows he's fucked. We have to listen to Roman get yelled at from this closet and the situation is just awkward. But we couldn't concern ourselves with that because we had larger issues. It was inevitable that Roman's mom would take him up to his room and that's exactly where the weed was. We had to act fast and somehow get from the closet to Roman's bedroom to out of the house without being detected. Luckily the Febreze came in clutch because because it made his mom stand in the kitchen and not the living room. This allowed us to open the closet door and hug the corner up the stairs undetected. We run to his bedroom and get the weed and we're like, what in God's name do we do now? We couldn't go out the front door. The only escape was through his window and onto the roof. Me and Cole sit out here just talking about how fucked Roman is. All right, as long as his mom doesn't see us or the weed, we should be good. But what are we supposed to do? Dude, just sit up here all night? Well, at least we have the weed on us. So the two of us, stuck between a mom and a hard place, resort to smoking more. I mean, what else are we gonna do? Some time passes and we see a head poke out the window. Yo, Roman, are you good? But this wasn't Roman. It was actually his dad. The two of us are paralyzed until he talks. Yo, what's up, guys? What are you doing up there? He sees our weed and puts two and two together. You know what? I used to smoke weed too all the time as a kid. I don't want to freak you guys out. So he uses his dad magic to get us through the house undetected, drives us home and we get out safe while Roman takes the fall for us. Okay, that's the story. Ring the bell. Bye.